What's up y'all? Okay, so this video is going to be a vlog slash story time of the time I got denied <laughs> to a modeling agency because of my locks. But yesterday or earlier this week I went and got some digitals taken with Mia. She is a local photographer here in Flint and I love taking pictures with her. She took my headshots. And she took some digitals of me this week because I knew I was going to a casting this weekend. So we did that. And here's some clips of that. I really like her little singing baby voice. Yeah. <laughs> well, Daddy Lee. Yeah. yeah. You'll start dancing a little piece up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got the blunt roll for the night. Got the all right y'all we just finished the shoot with Mia <laughs> She helped me, you know, make my comp card for this casting, and I feel really good about it. Yeah, she's gonna. She she's helped gonna me out. <laughs> she helped me out, and let's see if we we slay this. But y'all gotta go follow her on Instagram at Mia dot Move M I A dot M O V. Yes, y'all go follow her and her YouTube channel. She vlogs now. Yeah, I'm new to it, but I'm trying to. Do yes, it. but I love family vlogs. Like I watch family vlogs all the time. Yeah, you just. So he's, cute. He's hard to vlog with sometimes. Yeah, but. Adorable son. You say hi? No. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all go follow her, show her some love, and subscribe to her channel. Thank you. And yeah. So yeah, I got me some pictures taken, all prepared. <laughs> um, and then yesterday, well, the day, yeah, yesterday, I went and got them printed out. Hey y'all, so it's a new day. Right now, um, all booted up, booted and suited to um, go to Walgreens to print out my pictures for a portfolio so I can, you know, take it to the casting. It's a nice little empty portfolio. But right now I'm going through my phone to um, just make it easier and create an album with all the pictures that I have to print out so that when I get to the store, I can just easily boom, boom, boom. I don't really know how the process goes because I never went to print out pictures like by myself since I was like a kid with my mom. So I don't know. But I'm just going to make it easier by just finding the pictures that I'm printing out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, how are you guys day going? I hope it's going good. Mine's is going great. It's March 1st, finally March. February was a messy month, okay? This has been the craziest Black History Month. But we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. I've really slowed up on taking pictures of myself and it really sucks. Like, I don't know. Do, is, am I the only one who, you just have to be, I don't know, when your life ain't together or where you're not like super situated, you just, you're not thinking about taking selfies all the time. Like, I just feel like I'm in this mode, like work mode grind mode like i'm just working a lot saving trying to get my living situation together and i barely have days where i'm all dressed up and even when i am i don't know i just forget to take pictures sometimes granted i still got my nice my little pics i post on the ground but they're not like that's raj raj Hi. He was over there slurping. I don't know. It's just, uh, ooh, look at this video I just found on my phone. See, I ain't been popping like this in a minute, girl. Yes. Like, that's me? Who is she? Oh, look, look how tan I was. Look how pale I am. Oh, my God. I can't wait till the sun blesses me, y'all. I just can't. 
But yeah, let me know if y'all feel me on that. I don't know if I even made sense, but I'm super nervous about this casting tomorrow, y'all. This is the first time I ever did some. Well, okay, this is the first time I'm going to a modeling casting as an adult. I'm like by myself, but my mom has took me to like an agency, a talent agency. But there was like a it was a scam location, but. Um, this isn't my first time trying to do something like this. I really, I've been wanting to be an actress since I was a little kid. I've been wanting to do like commercials. I wanted to be one of them girls, them little girls in like the stores, you know, and like JCPenney or Justice. Like I just always wanted to do something with like modeling or acting. And you know, when you're a minor and your parent is busy, a single parent at that, it's kind of hard. And especially when you run into, you know, the first time she actually you know took me to get the to the next step you know which would be like going to agencies and stuff it was a scam so it's kind of like a turn off and kind of like you know just just chill just wait so it's like now that i'm old enough and like i don't know i'm just seeing the opportunities more just because i'm more focused on it again then now i'm just like ready to go for it again so it's just something that my inner child you know is motivating me to do so I don't know. Who knows what'll come from it. So I'm just going with my gut and just trying not to be fearful of things that are new to me. I'm just seeing what comes from it, you know. But these are the album, just the portfolio album. So yeah, hopefully these come out nice. And yeah, so we're about to go to Walgreens. So BRB. Hold on, back up. If y'all never printed pictures at Walgreens before, just download the app and do it and then go pick it up because it's way faster. I was in the store and they had me like plug my phone up to the computer and like your pictures just pop up on the screen in front of everybody. Like, no, don't nobody need to see all my pictures. <laughs> so that's just the heads up. And um, yeah, so that's that. Hopefully they look bomb. So I'm back at the house. I got my pictures right now. I'm putting them in my portfolio. They came out pretty cool. They kind of looks a little bit dark. Like a little green-ish. But it's it's cool. It's cool. So I'm putting... <laughs> Shut up. While I'm putting these in here, I'm going to share all of this story. There's this old man waiting in line with me to get our pictures. And it was just awkward. It was just standing there. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to say something. He had locks. He had really long gray locks. And I was like, I want to compliment him. So <laughs> I was sitting there and I was like, hi, I really like your locks. And then he just turned and looked at me. He was like, hi, how you doing? And I was like, I'm oh, good. Thanks. And he was like, yeah, I like to be seen. I don't like to be seen. You know, you know, you get what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, I feel you. I don't know what he was trying to say. He didn't say thank you when I complimented his locks. I was like, maybe he meant like he don't like getting complimented on his locks. He just wanted to be like, maybe I should have just asked him how he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Then been like, I like the locks, you know? to like move my nerves out the way that's all i am i'm excited to conquer my nerves you know i'm sorry if this bothers anyone that i'm vlogging and driving trust me i don't want to do it either but i'm keeping my eyes on the road so sorry i can't give you you know constant contact but uh yeah i don't have a car mount so yeah but it's really early in the morning and the highway is pretty clear so i think we're good yes 2019 if y'all haven't did something that's out your comfort zone or something you always wanted to do that is kind of scary to you I encourage you to do it I'm doing it so you can do it too you know I'm just gonna say this too as if I'm just ready for I feel like if I keep doing this I keep pushing myself into new avenues new you know
know this has always been an interest of mine like I said I think I said this already earlier in the video but just you know going and learning more about my interest and just really trying to find my passion things I really enjoy doing and just seeing what could come from it because I'm trying I'm striving to be I'm striving to have a happier life more well-rounded life I want to be happy going to work I want to be happy doing what I do every day love what I do every day and yeah so I'm just putting myself out there I'm trying to find it it's hard living in Michigan it's not much out here especially Flint Michigan but you know it's I feel like it's getting better a little bit maybe but you know it's it's out there if you really look for it so that's what I'm just trying to do you feel me I'm looking like a ghost now so yeah that was my TED talk <laughs> Um, thank you for y'all watching me on this little vlog. Hopefully it's put together nicely. Y'all gonna see in the whole process. And you know, fingers crossed that in the end, there's a happy ending, good outcome. But either way, it's gonna be a good outcome because your girl made it through. And yeah, I know I'm gonna feel fearless after this. So, I'm at home right now, and I have a lot to say. I was ranting in the car a little bit, but I was like, no, let me wait till I get home. Let me think about it in this hour drive and get my thoughts clear and say what I need to say. So, I get there at 11 a.m., sign in, whatever, and we're in this conference room. It was at the Holiday Inn, so we were in like one of the conference rooms. It was a good, probably like 60 people, maybe. And low key, y'all, I'm just gonna say this real quick. I feel like I just wasted three hours of my life. <laughs> um, and I'm also gonna be late for work for no reason, but whatever, I don't really care about work, to be honest. <laughs> So it we the way they did it, it was not what I expected at all. It was kind of like a quick, they spent like an hour and a half, you know, bragging about their company, which I, I got really inspired low key. Like when they were talking about their agency and what they do for girls and how successful their models are, like they do place them in big agencies, they do big jobs and they're pretty you know successful to be just starting out and um they had some of the models there and they were telling their stories showing their books to us you know the whole nine right and so that was cool so like i don't want to say i did waste my time because it was like a cool experience or whatever but still like it was kind of a waste of time for me one thing that threw me off i didn't expect is they had us all in the room while they were interviewing each model there's three agents sitting at a table well two of them were agents one of them was their makeup artist and she was just like you know looking at they said she was going to be the brow judger she was judging people's brows i guess she's like a brow expert and so when you get signed to her agency she kind of gets your brows together to fit your face how it should be and just ha help you work on getting your brows right i guess and there's a agent well the director of the agency was on the left it was a nice nice lady she seemed really nice you know i really wanted to talk to her you know when you go somewhere or like an interview or whatever and you like i hope i get that lady because i feel like if i go to her it's gonna go how i want it to that's kind of what i was thinking the other girl she was her like assistant basically she was like the director of, she was head of new faces so she was the one that scouts and deals with newly signed people and she was like younger, but she was kind of more like on the serious, like kind of low-key mean side. And yeah, so I'm just sitting there and I'm waiting for my turn to go up and I'm paying attention. Most people are like on their phones, chit-chatting, showing each other their pictures. But I'm sitting trying to, you know, pick up on what questions they asking the, the, these girls. And so they're basically asking, you know, you know, what do you do for work or like, what made you interested in modeling? Are you taking it serious? Are you willing to travel? Blah, blah, blah. And 
you know, just trying to get to know them. And so I'm all prepared. Like, I'm listening. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait to, you know, because they were just emphasizing the skin. I was like, I can't wait to tell them, you know, I'm a licensed esthetician. You know, I I do this, I do that, whatever. YouTube, I was ready to just tell them everything. And so I was like, I felt really prepared. I'm like, okay. You know, they want to get to know us. They called my name, first of all. It was just like, I... It didn't knock my confidence because this happens all the time, but it's just like annoying because first of all, I got the the serious one, of course. I didn't get the the uh, the director. I got the other girl, and she was like, "Tick, tick." Uh, I don't want to say this wrong. Tick, tick. And then the director, she was like, "Takaya," and I was like, "Yeah, Takaya." Like, dang, that's so irritating. Like, why can't you just? I appreciate when people would just be like. Last name Tyler, because my last name is really easy. I'd rather you just be like, last name Tyler, and I'm like, oh, yep, Takaya, and I'll tell you how to say it. But when they sit there and go, tick, uh, tick, tick, uh, you know, all that stuttering junk is just irritating to me. So I was already like, okay. I sit down, and the first thing she asked me was how many tattoos I had. So, because you can see this. And I was like, oh, I have two. This one, one on my back. And then, of course, the next question. So, how long did you have your dreads? And I'm like, 10 months. And she was like, oh, 10 months? Oh. Are you willing to get rid of them? And I was like, dang. Like, can you get to... What happened to the soul? What what brought you here? Are you interested to do this professionally? What do you do for work? And she said, cut to the chase. We don't want nobody with dreads, basically. I was kind of not going to lie. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. This is something I'm working on. And it's something I really irks me about myself. Is that I'd be scared to say no. Like, I was just lightly say no or disagree in like the most respectful way instead of just being like no because I was just fearful that like it was just going to end the whole thing they're like all right well then bye so you know what I mean and I feel like I should just been like no but I also was like interested in to see like where it was going to go not to say like I was like trying to waste our time or like lie to her but I just wanted to see you know what I'm saying where it was going to go so she asked me if I was willing to cut them off or comb them out and I was like Ugh. like she cut seeing on my face and I was like getting nervous and worried like oh shit it's gonna end this so I was just like I mean maybe if it was like very necessary I'll probably think about it she was like no it is necessary like it's very necessary if you want to book jobs if you want to take this seriously do it full time you need to be versatile stylists want to be able to do your hair however they want so and especially for you you're gonna be she was like we see you in commercial and with commercial and on plot, top of you being only five two you know what i'm saying you're not gonna get that much work so on top of having dreads it's just not gonna work and i was like okay i i i, I understand that you know and i i did figure that and i know that's like a thing like an issue but I just, I just felt really optimistic. You feel me? And she was like, I mean, you, it's possible if you want to do it part time, and if you want, you know, to get work here and there. But if you want it to be consistent or whatever, then you probably should get rid of them. And if you want to be with us, it's very necessary for you to get rid of them. And I was like. And so then she seen that I was kind of like, I wasn't saying like, okay, I'm going to go cut them off tomorrow. So she just like moved on. But just to stick on that, it was like really disappointing that my conversation, obviously, I mean, I know it's like a statement or whatever, but I just hated that my, my conversation started with get rid of your locks, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even really get to show my personality. And another thing that like turned me off is I had a book. Any other girl walked up, they would ask him like, do you have pictures? I put mine right on the table. She didn't even bother to open it and look at it. And I, I was really proud of my book. Like the first picture you open it, boom. I'm like, I already showed y'all, but I was just really, I'm really proud of my book. And I was just like, I thought she was opening it like, oh. 
even though I don't have that many pictures, it's still like, you know what I mean? She couldn't even freaking open it just because it's not the, I don't have the hairstyle that they're looking for. But, so that rubbed me the wrong way too. I'm like, damn, she don't even want to see my freaking picture. <laughs> oh, and she was telling me about how one girl with dreads booked the job or, yeah, she booked the job. She submitted pictures or whatever with her dreads and I guess they assumed that they were fake or they were braids or something, something that she could take out. So she, when she went on set to do the job that they booked her for, they made her cut them off because they were like, oh no, we can't, we can't work with you with this. Like, you can't have these. So she had to literally cut them off on set. But then Marc Jacobs, you know what I'm saying, can have a fashion show with white models wearing dreads. But but it's like, oh, but they're fake. They could take them out. But still, y'all think of it as something like cool, unique, fashionable, trendy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. The whole thing just irritated me. And I knew that, you know, basically I didn't get it. Like, I wasn't going to get a call back, which I was fine with. It was all, But it was also kind of disappointing because I really thought that, like, I was getting signs and everything it's like okay I'm aligned to be with this with this agency I showed y'all my receipt like I really felt like I was like getting signs like this is gonna go well like my receipt when I print out my freaking pictures for my portfolio was 1777 I'm like oh 777 and so I was like if you don't believe in synchronicities it's okay but I see it a lot and sometimes I just think it's cool sometimes I just let it go over my head sometimes I really be like Hmm, do that mean something? But it's just, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it too serious for anybody who, who don't believe in it. I'm just sharing it. And then also while I was sitting there waiting, I didn't have my phone, I had it in my bag, but I was just tired of sitting there waiting. I'm like, let me check the time. There was no clock in the room. So I grabbed my phone out the bag and it was one it was twelve thirty four. So one, two, three, four o'clock. So I got me a little video showing that I was at the cast and I was like oh shit that like made my heart drop I was like one two three four o'clock huh okay maybe this is this is something like I'm, I might have a chance yeah I just it just read me the wrong way that she was just telling me like you're not gonna book you're not gonna get no jobs with that so if you want to be successful in commercial you're gonna have to get rid of those and I beg to I don't think that's true I think it's possible and I guess it just won't happen through them. I don't know. Even going to that casting, it wasn't like an end-all, be-all thing for me. It wasn't like a, I have to get signed and if I don't, my heart's going to be crushed. But I did think that I like had a chance and I thought it would be cool. Because I love taking pictures. I love getting like all dressed up and you know having like a creative idea. Finding cool places to take pictures. And like if you could do that for a living, that's like bomb. You know what I'm saying? I would love to do that for a living. Um, so like it is kind of disappointing for you, someone to tell you like you can't do it because of your hair but my locks is everything to me now like I just don't see myself getting rid of them especially not for no dang modeling agency like I've never felt more like myself even when I, I've seen a few girls there with their curly hair you know with their little fro I ain't gonna say little fro like I'm downplaying it. I'm just saying like they had their fro like curls popping and stuff. And I was just looking like I don't really miss that. I really don't. Like I feel like my genuine self. I feel more like myself with my hair like this. I feel more confident in myself. I love what they represent. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I just love them and I don't I don't wanna get rid of them for for this and it was just like real eye-opening. I know some of y'all who, I don't know who's going to come across this video or if y'all, you know, my subscribers, y'all already know about the modeling industry. Y'all probably already saw it coming. Like, you girl, you should have known going there with dress, they wasn't going to pick you. What you thinking? I don't know. But I don't know. I just, you know, like I said, I was like optimistic and I felt like, I don't know. I thought things was changing. They said they wanted you. Oh my God. Then they said they wanted unique looks. They want a unique looks. Unique. Not to toot my own horn or nothing, but I feel, 
I feel like I was the most unique one there. Like, I'm not even trying to gas myself up. I'm just saying, like, no one there had locks. Freeform locks at that. I, I just don't understand that. They really push, like, we want fresh, new, unique looks and faces. But then, oh, but your hair can't be unique and different. Your hair got to be basic so that we can do what we want to it. Her, Sasha Lane okay she is like one of my lock inspirations too I love her and she's also a Libra like me so I just love her but she had a, a video with Teen Vogue talking about her locks and the misconceptions that she had with them and how people told her she wouldn't book no jobs and she wouldn't it's not professional and it's difficult and that she wouldn't you know make it with her hair like that and now she's like a successful actress like she's been in lead roles in movies she's still successful with her long luscious locks and you know I feel like I can be too whether it's in that industry or with something else regardless I'm keeping them you know I was there for three hours just to be told that you know basically I'm not I'm not qualified that was my experience of going to a casting and getting denied because of my hair <laughs> stick to what you believe in i believe in my hair <laughs> and i want to see my locks grow and i'm not gonna disturb my journey to be a part of this superficial agent i mean i ain't gonna say the agency but this industry all right i gotta get ready to go to work don't let that stop you i'm also talking to myself but i'm talking to y'all too don't let that stop you from going after things that are out of your comfort zone or things that seem impossible to reach because you know it still does something for you still you know you still get growth and inner confidence and you know beating those nerves and doing something that you scared to do and just going against those nerves and doing it anyways it just it builds you inside so thanks for watching this vlog um i hope y'all enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you experienced any um, discrimination because that's kind of what it is this discrimination um, against your locks in the workplace did you get denied a job because of them yeah share your stories down in the comments down below so we can we can vent and rant about it <laughs> together and yeah stay tuned for the next video I'll see y'all there all right bye